Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cadillac Driven. We're back with another video. And listen, yes, I've been gone for a while. I apologize. We've been trying to get another channel up. We're trying to retire. So if you want to support the channel, you want to support this retirement, hit the super thanks button down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that like button before you leave. Okay, but let's go ahead. Let's talk about the topic at hand. The question is, should you buy the Cadillac XT6 or not? Now, you could buy whatever you want to buy. That's going to be your decision at the end of the day. But we are going to talk about uh, my opinion and what I think about the Cadillac XC6 and if it's worth the buy or not. All right. So now the Cadillac XC6, let's talk about the price. Let's go into the pricing real quick. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the a a APR. It went up, right? They went up another quarter point. This is the third time. So your average a a APR for the Cadillac XC6, the XC5, and the XC4 is going to be 2.99. No, you're not going to get a 1.9. You are going to get a 0 0.9. It's 2.99 across the board. Now, I don't know what it's going to be for a lease car but i'm quite sure it's going to be up there where you were getting zero percent at first you may not get zero percent or even close to zero percent maybe a one percent maybe a two percent who knows right uh the interest rate going up is affecting everybody that means people are buying houses credit card interest rates are going up it's going up all across the board to help try to get uh this economy back on track all right so that's what the apr is now on the 2022, you're going to get $1,000 off of the Cadillac XT6. I'm not sure about the XC5. Maybe $500 off on the 2023 model, right? $1,000 off on the 2022 model. So you can look for that when you go to your dealership, okay? So that's that. Let's talk about the pricing of this car now. For the luxury, you are going to pay, and this is the all-wheel drive, right? Uh, you're going to pay... Uh, $51,990 for the premium luxury. That one's going to be $58,190. And for the sport, you're going to pay a whopping, listen to this, a whopping $61,000 for that car. And this is all base price uh, for what you're going to get in these cars. Now, they're going to get specced out if you're going to pick them up off the lot. I suggest that if you're going to be going to get the Cadillac XC6, I say order it. If you can wait, if your car isn't due to be turned in or you can wait another year to get another car, I say wait it out to next year. Go ahead, order the car, get what you want to have put in this car and just wait for it to be delivered. I don't know how long it's going to take. You can go down to the dealership, talk to them and find out where they are so far the allocations are concerned for what they're going to be getting in. Um... When we talk about the Cadillac XT6 um, uh, luxury, premium luxury and or sport. But I think the sport is expensive for what it offers, right? And I think the luxury look just as nice as the sport. And they both offer two different things uh, so far as features are concerned. Like you you couldn't get, at least for the 2022 model, you couldn't get uh, the LED uh, door lights on the sport, but you can get them on the all -wheel, the all wheel drive premium luxury. I, I thought that was kind of weird. I, I felt like it should have been a package even for the sport. Okay, so those are the prices for them car for the cars. And that's why I say go ahead, order the car. If you really want the Cadillac XC6 and you're looking for a three row SUV and you need the space, then go ahead. I, that's what I would do first. Now, when you go to get ready to pick this car off the lot, we're gonna tell you what you're gonna be looking for. Remember, they still have a chip shortage. They still have a shortage of new cars, although used cars, prices are balancing out, uh, but dealers are trying to recoup their money for what they're going to be losing because they bought these cars high and they were going to sell them higher and now they're going to be at a loss. So they're going to try to figure out a way to recoup some of that money that they're going to lose out when you think about going to buy a used car. That's just a heads up. Now, in my area, right, I got a Cadillac uh, XT6 pulled up. It's a 2022 model. Uh, here's what they're offering. First of all, the car is $74,000 and some change, okay? And then they're tacking on, uh, which we talked about this before, and this isn't going to stop no time soon. They're charging you for add-ons. Like some places, some car dealerships are charging you for low jack, right? Why do you need low jack? Nobody's using low jack. That's been a long time ago, but they got low jack installed in some of these cars with some of these dealerships. But this dealership, they are not saying what the add-ons are. 
but when you go in it should be uh on a sticker on the window where you'll be able to see what all they added on and they, they may add that they got um uh, you got inflated tires with the new nitrogen uh, uh, air or they said that they got the um, protected uh, uh, seat protection and paint protection as well. So these are some of the things that they may charge you for. And this price goes up to twenty five hundred dollars, right? That they're tacking on onto the price of the car. So that thousand dollars that you're going to get off the car. Uh, you're still up like another 1500 anyway, and you got to consider the taxes and everything like that. Now, for 74000 for me, I'll go ahead and I will wait on the Lyric. Yeah, I'm ordering the Lyric already. Everybody knows that. But let's say I wasn't, right? Uh, the car looks better. First of all, inside and out is, is totally brand new. Everything is, is unique within the car, and it offers tons of features as is right now. Now for the 2024 model, they are going to have different trims from what I understand. Uh, I have yet to see anything written in stone about that, but that's what we're expecting. But compared to the pricing for what the Cadillac XT6 offers, I don't think it's worth that price when you can get a better car. I'll go take a look at an Audi. I'll go take a look at a, uh, a base model BMW or, or, or maybe even a Mercedes Benz. Maybe I'll put a bigger down payment and get a car that's going to give me uh, features that's worth having on a premium car. Now, in my opinion, when I look at the Cadillac XT6, I don't see premium. What I see is... Um, you know, just like uh, what we used to call Hondas and Hondas, you know, they weren't luxury cars. They were just somewhat like premium cars. So when I look at this, not only on the exterior, but on the interior as well. Now, not to say that the interior is outdated, which it is, but the interior has not been through a revamp since it, so far as what I've seen since the Cadillac XT5 first came out in 2016. And there's nowhere in the world that Cadillac should still be putting a 8 inch display in a 2023 model car. And that's what that car have. You can go to a Volkswagen. You can go to uh, uh, get in a Palisade. You can get into a, a GV80. You can get into a Telluride. And they have a bigger screen than what they offer in this premium luxury in a full size luxury SUV. Not unless this is not considered a luxury SUV anymore. So I think what Cadillac did was is that they spent all their money, uh, for the most part, focusing also on the Cadillac Lyric that they wanted to get in the three row segment uh, to be able to make a little bit of money. So they just threw the car together. And this is what we have. I have yet to see Cadillac ever do anything like this. And I think they dropped the ball. That's in my opinion. Now, when you take a look at, again, like the Palisade, the exterior, you take a look at the interior, you see a luxury car when you sit inside the cabin of the Palisade compared to what you see with the Cadillac uh, um, XC6. Yeah, I think you're going to be paying for the badge because for what they offer so far as uh, features uh, and ele elegance and ambience, uh, it's lacking in the Cadillac XC6. I don't mean to slam it like this, but I just got to be honest about it. I love Cadillac. Uh, I'm driving a Cadillac CT6 and I'm still in love with this car just like I got it the first day. So Cadillac has done great work with uh, automobiles, but they have been dropping the ball left and right uh, for over a decade. And with the Cadillac XC6, they dropped the ball big time. They just didn't care because they had bigger plans ahead. And it wasn't just with the Cadillac um uh, XC6 because GM also was focusing on other cars like the Chevy Equinox that's coming out, the Chevy Blazer that's coming out. I talked to a guy at the dealership. They're talking about they got a whole lineup that's going to be coming out uh, pretty soon. It's going to replace, of course, the XT6, the XT5, and the XT4 is what I heard. Now, I have yet to see anything else, but I'm quite sure they're coming. And Cadillac is, is picking up the ball when you take a look at the EV lineup, which they should have done, right, with the Cadillac XT6 and the Cadillac XT5, just like they did with the Cadillac Escalade. So, with that being said, you talk about the price of $74,000, right? Uh, for what you get with this car, you can pretty much get the the, the Palisade uh, for less. I'd say for $60,000, you'll get far more than what you're going to get 
in the Cadillac uh, XC6. And I understand the badge means a lot to a lot of people, but not for the price, especially with the uh, height of inflation that's taking place around here. So my opinion would be uh, to wait, right? Because the 2024 model of the XC5 and the XC4 is going to be redesigned. It kind of uh, showed a little bit of the XC4. I'm not quite sure if they're going to revamp uh, the Cadillac XT6 or not, but I would either wait it out or I would get the Cadillac XC5, right? Just kind of deal with the space for a little bit until a newer model comes out and just trade the car in. Maybe the market will balance out in the next two to three years uh, if you can wait that long. But would I recommend the Cadillac XT6? No, not at all. Not for what it's offered and for the price is it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Right? But for the most part, a guy like me would not go to Honda or Hyundai. I would do Mercedes Benz. I would do Audi. I would also do um, BMW because I like luxury vehicles. And when I think of Cadillac, when I hear the Cadillac name, I, I hear luxury. And that's not what I see in the Cadillac XC6. So I think they could have did a better job, but that's going to be up to you at the end of the day. If you really got to have one, then go ahead and get it. I'm just trying to give you the heads up of what you're going to be expecting when you go to buy this car and for what the car offers for the price. But hold on one second before I go. I want to tell you what this car offers for $74,000 really quick. Now for $74,000, right, you're going to get the platinum package, which means that this particular dealership spec it out. And most dealerships are going to do this because they're still trying to recoup the money. Now, right now, at least online, they're not showing that they're charging $5,000 or $10,000 over MSRP because they did give you an add-on price, right, which is about almost $3,000. So you're going to get the platinum package. That's $5,000. You're going to get the... Um, um, the package that has Super Cruise, that's going to be another $2,500. And then you're going to get the technology package, right, that offers a whole range of safety features. And also you're going to get the HD surround uh, vision uh, as well. That's another $2,300. And then for another $2,000, which is something that you probably don't even want, which is the night vision. A lot of people don't want the night vision. For what? Now that now let you live in a cornfield area, you may want that. But then you got the driver assist, right? It doesn't have... Uh, and, and this is another almost another version of the Super Cruise uh, without being able to have Super Cruise actually drive it for you with your feet off the pedal and also your hands off the steering wheel. But it will drive the car uh, without you having to worry about changing lanes. Now, with that, you also got another thousand dollars for what they call the Cadillac user experience, which means it gives you the navigation and it gives you uh, the 19 speaker bowl system. Now, remember. The navigation used to be free. At least it came free uh, standard on the Cadillac CT6 back in uh, 2018 when I bought the car. Now you're going to be paying for that. Another $800 for the six seating, which I will get the six seating because that's what my wife told me that I should get. And then we got the premium headlights, right, which I like on this car when I was considering getting the Cadillac uh, XC6 until uh, the Cadillac Lyric came about. That's what I was going to get. I was going to order that one. Again, I'm going to advise you, build your car yourself. If you got patience, go ahead and build it. Add on what you want to add on and you don't have to pay this type of price. Now, you're going to get the comfort and convenience package. That's another $750. You're going to get the towing package. That's another $650. Then you're going to pay for the paint job, which is another $625 because it's a stellar black. Now, you have uh, security cargo. That's $150. So, in total, total options, this goes up to $18,000, which brings the price right to $74,000. Uh, not out the door because you still got to pay taxes and fees and everything else that, that's associated with buying a car. So that's it, you all. I just wanted to give you an idea of what you're going to be looking for if you're considering getting the Cadillac uh, XT6. And that's going to be up to you whether you want to buy this car or not. Me personally, I don't think the car is worth this weight and gold. Uh, I think you can find uh, a better looking model, uh, another car that offers more features for a better price. All right. So with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. You guys hit me in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on this video and whether you're going to buy the Cadillac XT6 or not. And I'll see you all again at the next one. Take care.